Hey everyone, in this video we are going to start off in Gaia and build a new project. I already have created my world, but I'm going to walk you through the process and share some powerful new notes that I've learned to help you build insane open worlds. You can follow along and create an island just like mine, or play around with these techniques and come up with your own custom design. I've started with a mountain node and an island node, and picked the alpine preset with the default settings, but there's a ton of options to help you make realistic looking mountains. Mess with the island node settings until you get the shape you like, then I added a clamp node and set it to 70 out of 100 to control the elevation. Next I added a blur node off the mountain, using the lowest blur value possible. I'll show you a quick before and after so you can see the detail shift. Then I add erosion 2 node and tweak the settings. The best way to learn Gaia is honestly just to throw a node in and see what happens. Move the sliders around and observe how it affects the landscape. One of the most useful nodes i found is the transform node. This lets you shift the elements like mountains or islands around your terrain by adjusting the X and Y offset. Great for building a scene with specific layout ideas. After the clamp node on the island, I added the Perlin noise to get some extra variation. Then I used another transform node to move the island to the corner and connect to the base of the mountain. I added erosion here as well to soften out the edges of the island. Now that both of the landscape elements are positioned where I want, I used the combine node to merge them into a unified terrain. And then I added the C node. Don't worry. I'll show you how to remove Gaia's default water material later and replace it with a custom water once we're in Unreal. Save your project and remember where it's saved. The export tab has some useful info as well. Once you're ready, hit build and I'll meet you inside of Unreal. Inside of Unreal, we go to File, New Level, and Open Blank World. This gives us world partition support, which we want for this map. If you don't have Ultra Dynamic Sky, pick Open World for Lighting instead. We will now import the height map from Gaia. Instead of just eyeballing the skill like we did in the last video, I want to shout out a comment from Rotten Pine Games. They gave us the exact formula to match Gaia's scale perfectly. Who would have thought dragging things around randomly wasn't the big brain move? For our landscape, since we used 1009 by 1009, we're going to set our X and Y scale to around 495, and Unreal should now match our Gaia landscape exactly. Once that is done, select your game mode and your character, and we can do a quick test to see how it all loads right out of the box. Now I'll show you how to clean up the water so you can add your own custom water. We're going to go into the landscape material we used, which is the island sample. We're going to find the water layer and we're going to disable it. And now we can see the sand. For this demo, to save time, I'm just going to use a basic cube as a placeholder. Obviously, in your project, you're going to want to use splines to outline the island to create realistic water boundaries. I'm going to customize the color and I'm going to get the height up to where I want it on the shore. And once it's positioned correctly, the default layer of water is gone. Your character can now actually walk in the water. If you want to integrate swimming, you'll need to update your animation blueprint and state system so your character knows whether they're in water or on land and can switch animations accordingly. 
I'm going to run around the world again quickly to check loading times and get a baseline feel for performance. After that, I'll head back into the landscape settings and tweak a couple settings like the slope angle to reduce grass bonds, which can help optimization and improve frame rate. Another way to improve frames is to go into the procedural folder in your auto material setup and open the grass file. And inside the array, you'll see different grass type spawning. Four key settings that I'm going to tweak are density, start and end call distance, and cast dynamic shadows, and as well as the grass type itself. You can mess around, add more, delete some, whatever you'd like to do. Play around with those until you get the exact look and performance you need for your system. That's it for today's video. Let me know if you have any questions. I hope this helped you build something amazing in Gaia and Unreal. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I've got more tutorials on the way.